Hello friends, this is Pravin Pawar. In this video, we'll see the question paper of PGCNET July 2016. This is paper 3 of Electronic Science. So here we'll discuss from question number 1 to 25. Now question number 1. In an NMOS inverter, to get the good levels, low and high, resistance of load MOSFET should be very very greater than resistance of driver MOSFET when conducting. As you know that uh, for MOSFET, input impedance should be high. So from here easily we can predict that resistance of load MOSFET should be very very greater than resistance of driver MOSFET. So one is the correct answer. Now question number two. In a CMOS inverter, if the driver MOSFET operating region is cut off, then the output is given as. So 2 is the correct answer. This is output high voltage. Question number 3. The inverse Z transform of X of Z defined as. X of Z is equal to Z plus 1 minus 2 Z inverse will be. So inverse Z transform of 1, we know that which is impulse del of N. And Z would be inverse Z transform of Z would be del of N plus 1. Here minus 2 is the coefficient. And uh, inverse Z transform Z inverse would be del of N minus 1. So our correct option is 2. X of N is equal to del of N plus 1 plus del of N minus 2 del of N minus 1. Question number 4. Fourier transform of a function X of T exists if the integration between minus infinity to infinity mod X of T dt exists. So 2 is the correct answer. Now question number 5. In a short key barrier diode, the barrier height is. So correct option is 2. Kt by Q, natural log of A is star T square upon I S. Question number 6. In a bipolar junction transistor, the condition for thermal stability can be expressed as. So its condition is del of PC upon del T i should be less than del of PD upon del T i. So fourth one is the correct answer. Now question number 7. The output Y of the multiplexer circuit shown below is given by. So easily you can calculate the output as. You will see there are two select lines. So there can be four possible combinations. So that four, four cost, each four cost possible combinations are corresponding to each inputs. So here I will write uh, all four combinations. A bar, B, AB bar and AB. And I0, C will be multiplied by A bar B, C with I1, and C bar I2, which is multiplied with AB bar, and C bar AB. So all these terms will now add. So this will be the output. So here, first one is the correct answer, which is matches with the expression. Now, question number 8. The initial contents of the 4-bit serial in parallel out shift right shift register shown below is 0, 1, 1, 0. So initially data is 0, 1, 1, 0. So here you will see that our LSB is logical is XOR and it becomes the MSB. So XOR of 0, 1 would be 1 and this 3-bit would be right shift so it would be 0 1 1 now again XOR of this 1 1 would be 0 and this 3 bit should be right shift so here it would be after one clock pulse after second clock pulse this data so after third clock pulse it would be XOR of 0 1 is 1 and this 3 bit would be 0 1 0 so here in the question asked that three, after 3 clock pulse what will be the contents of shift register? So it would be 1010. So first one is the correct answer. Now question number 9. What will be the contents of register AL after the following has been executed? So he, this question is from Mike Russell. Move BL, 8C. The function of this instruction is that the 8 bit data uh, which is in hexadecimal here is moved to the register BL. So after execution of this instruction, the contents of BL would be, I will write in binary, 1, 0, 0, 0, and C is uh, 12. So its binary would be 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, after execution of this instruction, move AL, 7E, it will be moving AL. So contents of AL would be 
7 which is 0 1 1 1 and E is 1 1 1 0. Now add AL comma BL. The contents of BL would be added, added with AL and result will be stored in AL register. So after execution of this instruction, the contents of AL register would be. So here it will perform the binary addition. 0 0 is 0, 0 1 is 1, 1 1 is 0 and carry flag will generate 1. 1 1 is 1 0 and again there will be plus 1. So it would be 1 1. So now it is 1 and carry flag will generate 1. Again 1 1 is 10 which is 0 and 1. 1 1 is 0 1. 1 1 is 0 1. 1 1 is 0 and carry flag is generate 1. So here the data will observe that 0 and A. So and carry flag is generated. So our correct answer is 1. 0 a and carry flag is set. Now question number 10. Signal voltage ranges for a logic high and for a logic low in RS232C standard R. For low it is minus 15 volt to minus 3 volt and for high it is plus 3 volt to plus 15 volts. Very simple. Question number 11. The following statements. For i is equal to 3, i less than 15, i plus is equal to 3. So we know that this is i is equal to i plus 3. And printf percent is di plus plus i. This is pre increment. So first i is equal to 3. So first 3 will be print. Then plus 1, which is 3 plus 1 is 4. And uh, 4 plus 3, it would be. 7 and 7 is less than 15 so now 7 will be print and next 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 3 is 11 here 11 is also less than 15 so now 15 will be print again plus 1 that is 12 12 plus 3 is 15 so i is should be less than 15 then only this loop will exit so here i is equal to 15 so it will not execute our output would be 3 7 and 11 so correct option is fourth one question number 12 consider the following program fragment if a is greater than b and if b is greater than c s1 else s2 s2 will be executed if so our condition should be a is greater than b and b should be less than or equal to c so 2 is the correct answer question number 13 the spacing between the centers of two holes of a two hole directional coupler must be so direct expression is given which is 2n plus 1 lambda upon 4 now question number 14 in a klystron when the electrons are first accelerated by the high dc voltage v0 before entering the bound bunching grid their velocity in meter per second is so here in direct expression is given uh, this is 0.593 into 10 to the power 6 and root v naught so 1 is the correct answer question number 15 4 independent messages have bandwidths of 100 hertz 100 hertz 200 hertz and 400 hertz respectively which is sampled at Nyquist rate the samples are time to multiplex and transmitted the transmitted sample rate is so first we will calculate the sampling frequency from Nyquist formula which is fs is equal to 2 times of maximum frequency fm so this is maximum frequency our maximum frequency is 400 here so now it would be 2 into 400 it would be 800 hertz now we will calculate the sampling rate r is equal to which is n f s sampling frequency here n is the number of messages which is 4 and f s is 800 so it would be now 3200 so our correct answer is fourth one 3200 question number 16 when receiver is tuned from one rf frequency to another the if changes by an amount equal to local oscillator frequency the if remains the same 
the local oscillator frequency changes by an amount equal to the audio frequency both the local oscillator frequency and IF frequencies changes so the correct option is 2 IF which is intermediate frequency remains the same so in our India it is 455 kilohertz which is constant for AM receiver now question number 17 when the electrons in a system move from excited state E2 to the lower energy state E1 causing a spontaneous and stimulated emission of radiation both the ratio of the spontaneous to stimulated transmitters tra sorry transitions is so correct option is 3 A21 upon B21 UV is equal to exponential of H nu upon KVT minus 1 now question number 18 the power converter shown in figure has single pole double throw switch the pole p of the switch is connected alternately to a, a and b the converter shown is so it shows the characteristic of step down chopper so first one is the correct answer question number 19 if mu is a poiseau ratio is young's modulus and Theta is physio resistive coefficient, then the Gauss factor for the semiconductor trend gauge is given by the equation. So, correct option is third one. G is equal to 1 plus 2 mu plus uh, E. Now, question number 20. The electronic circuit realization of PD controller is given by P is for proportional and D is for differentiator. So, for PD, something you can we should remember that this gives the high pass filter circuit and uh, have lead characteristic and uh, its advantage is it increases the bandwidth and also increases the stability and you will see the RC resistor and capacitor in the at the input so opposite of these you will find in PID. Okay, so whenever this question is asked, just remember these points and we will solve this step of problems. So RC at the input you will see here in second option. So 2 is the correct answer. In a bipolar junction transistor, which of the following are correct? For a particular amplifier, the smaller the internal resistance of the signal source the greater is the overall gain so this is correct for a particular design the larger the level of RL the greater is the level of AC gain so it is also correct for a particular amplifier larger the internal resistance of the signal source the greater is the overall gain this is not correct for a particular smaller the internal resistance of the signal source and smaller is the overall gain is also not correct so a and b are correct so third one is the correct answer now question number 22 for each transistor configuration the current gain can be given as minus v0 upon v i z upon r l so this is correct so here minus v0 upon v i is a v l z i upon r l so b is also correct C is not correct, D is also not correct. So A and B is correct. First one is the correct answer. Question number 23. Read the following statements. Bode plot is also called a logarithmic plot. So this is uh, correct. Bode plot is used to find the stability of a control system using frequency response. This statement is also correct. Bode plot is used to find the stability of control system using time response. This is not correct. Using frequency response is correct. Bode plot consists of only a magnitude. It also consists of phase plot. So this is also not correct. Read the question carefully. Which of the above statements are not correct? So C and D are not correct. So third one is the correct option of this question. Question number 24. Read the following statements regarding filters. A notch filter has only one cutoff frequency. So this is correct. I will draw the waveform for this. This is frequency and this is your amplitude level. So notch filter characteristic is like this. There is a sharp cutoff here. So 
this is the correct notch filter has two cutoff frequency this is not correct band pass filter does not have two cutoff frequency if i will draw the characteristic of band pass so it looks like this uh particular this is fl and fh the frequency between this range will be pass rest of the frequency will be blocked so this is band pass so not have two cut it has two cut frequency this system is not also not correct high pass filter has only one cut frequency so high pass filter characteristic i will draw here so here high frequency signals will be pass through this band so here has single cut off frequency so this statement is also correct a and d is correct so first one is the correct answer now question number 25 the total change in the collector current due to net change in temperature can be expressed as so it's a correct expression you will find that del ic upon del ic not into del ic not plus del ic upon del b into del plus del ic upon del vb into del vb so d is the correct answer our correct option is d is correct and c is wrong 2 is the correct answer so that's all about for this video we will continue in the next video so thanks a lot thanks for your kind attention your all suggestions are most welcome please like share and comment and subscribe my channel pravin254w for more useful videos all the best friends